Hey guys, Chubbs here, back again with another Doom editing tutorial. And today I'm just going to explain the important difference between the ambush flag on monsters and the block sound property on lines. So first I'm going to show you this small map that I've made here. So we have the player starting out in just a short hallway. And then ahead of the player you can see the room sort of opens up and then we have this former human with his nose stuck in the corner here almost like Blair Witch style but uh, what I'm gonna show you uh, first of all is just the default behavior which you should be familiar with and that is to say uh, without modifying the former human here if we just fire our weapon he's gonna hear us and come for us because as mo I'm sure most of you are aware in Doom unless you close off a room completely like with a door or something else sound is going to travel into that room and any monsters that have not been given the uh, ambush players flag will hear you so i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that real quick i'm just going to play the map and fire a shot and then we'll come right back <laughs> Okay, so that was the behavior you would pretty much expect. Since there was nothing closing off this hallway from this room, as soon as I fired my weapon, this former human heard me and he started coming towards me. Now, what most people will do without really thinking too much about it is if they want to make it so that the former human can't hear your gunshots, they will just go to him, right-click him, and give him the ambush players flag that I talked about just a second ago. And let's test the map and let's just study this behavior now that I've given them this flag. Okay, so it sort of behaved like you would expect, but there was also an important detail there. So if you noticed, when we started out, when I fired my pistol while I was still in this hallway, he did not hear us. He did not wake up. But the moment we crossed out of this hallway and entered his line of sight, even though he had his nose stuck over here in the corner, he immediately saw us, which is sort of strange. And that might seem like a bug, but in fact, that is by design. That is how the ambush player's flag works. What essentially happens is when you give a monster the ambush player's flag, they will still technically hear your gunshots if the room has not been closed off. But the thing is, they won't sort of play the uh, alert sound and come running at you until you enter their line of sight. So in our case, if we fire our weapon in here, until we come out just enough for him to be in our view, he will not come after us. It's almost like he's... He knows that we're there, he's heard our gunshot, but he's waiting for us to enter his line of sight before he really starts to begin chase. And that's, that's the important detail that I would wager many people aren't aware of. I would say that many people don't realize that it works that way. So, at this point you might be wondering, well, what if I really wanted my gunshots to be silent, and what if I wanted it so that even if I walked into this room, he still would not be able to see me over here since he has his nose in the corner. Well, the way you do that is by using the block sound property on lines. And this property really does block sound completely. So there's one weird thing about this, and that is that you, for whatever reason, need to stick this property on two lines in order for it to take effect. So right now, the way that I've designed this map we have one line that's right here that's dividing our hallway from the room that's opened up. This one line is not going to work, and I'm going to prove that here. I'm going to uh, go to this line, right-click it. I'm going to give it the block sound property here, right there. And then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go to our former human here and uncheck ambush players. And when we test it, you'll see that even though this, this line is set up to block sound, it's not going to work, and he's still going to hear us. <laughs> so you could clearly see that a single line with block sound was not sufficient. So 
let's go ahead and just create the second line that will give it its actual functionality. So we can uh, do this in several different ways. We can put a line that spans through here, and I think I'll go ahead and do that. So now we have two lines. I'm going to go to this line I just created, give it the block sound property, click OK, and now let's test the map out. I'm going to fire my shot without crossing through the hallway, and then after I fired my pistol, I'm going to enter the room, and let's see if he suddenly turns around and sees us this time. Okay, so notice that subtle but important difference in behavior. With these two lines here that have block sound on them, our gunshots were truly silent. Since they uh, were sort of blocked by these lines, this former human never heard them, and so when I entered this room, he was totally unaware of our presence. Whereas if we were to get rid of this line and sort of bring it back to the way we had it before, I'm going to also remove block sound on this line. If we go back to the way we had it before, where we just had him with ambush players, firing our pistol in this hallway would not really wake him up, but he would still be waiting for us to come out and enter his line of sight, and then he would immediately give chase. And I'm going to demonstrate that one more time, just to, uh, again, just to show you the behavior of ambush players, so that way you can compare it to the block sound demonstration that you just saw. So here is how Ambush Players works. So there you go. It's a small but very, very important difference. If you want your monsters to truly be unaware of your presence, even if you shoot, you want to use two lines that have the block sound property. And as long as you don't cross uh, either of those lines, your gunshots will be silent. They will not travel past those lines, and any monsters beyond those lines will not know you're there. Ambush players alone is not enough to make it so that your gunshots are really silent. It will prevent monsters from suddenly waking up and chasing you, but they will know that you're there, if you have uh, fired your weapon and the moment you get within line of sight of them they will come after you even if they're totally facing in the uh, other direction just like this zombie so hope this video has helped you guys out i hope you've learned something new again i would wager that there are many people out there who had no idea about these differences but if you have any questions about this feel free to let me know in the comments below thank you for watching this is chubbs signing out